what's the moral of the story? My name's Simon. I'm Annabelle. And we are learning and fumbling. And fumbling and learning. Through parenting, perhaps you're the same. We all love the little people in our life and we want to do the best for them. And one of the great privileges we get is to be able to read to them at the end of a day. It makes you feel good reading a book to a little person and you feel particularly good if that book has a good moral to it. One of our favourites has to be Cranky Bear. Surely you'd agree. Spoiler alert, you know, Bear storms back inside the cave and turns and roars at sheep. All I really want, he said, is a quiet place to sleep. So she fetched a pair of clippers and she clipped off half her wool. She stuffed it in a cotton bag until the bag was full. She tiptoed back inside the cave. Excuse me, Bear, she said. Would you like a pillow? for underneath your head. Well, thank you very much, said Bear, and soon he fell asleep, and maybe, just maybe, he was dreaming of a plate and thoughtful sheep. Great moral! Yeah, there's kindness, thoughtfulness, sacrifice. For the sake of another. It's a good one. But every so often, you're reading a book to a little person in your life, and as you are reading it, it dawns on you, hmm, the moral is not so great. I'm not sure what you think of Guess How Much I Love You. On the surface, the moral seems good. Beautiful. I love you this much. I love you this much. But I think what we're dealing with here is an overcompetitive dad. You think he's got issues. I do. I think the moral of the story is like, well, kids, at the end of the day, your parents are going to beat you at everything. Well, whatever you think about Little Nut Brown Hair, Big Nut Brown Hair, surely if any book has good morals to it, it's this one. The Bible, stories about Jesus. Well, we're gonna share a story with you and I wonder what you think the moral of this story is. It's really at the heart of the Christian faith. It's this moment before Jesus goes to the cross and effectively two people are on trial. And they're on trial before Pilate, who's the judge, and he's called, he's looked at the evidence and he's called the crowd together. And Pilate says to the crowd, what has this man Jesus done? He says, I find nothing against him. He, he's done nothing to deserve death. But the crowd don't want to heal it, hear it. They just keep saying, no, we want you to crucify Jesus. We want you to release to us Barabbas. Now, Barabbas, the other guy, he was on trial because he'd started a rebellion and he'd murdered somebody. But the crowd just keep shouting out, no, crucify Jesus, release to us Barabbas. And eventually... Pilate caves. He does Zen. release Barabbas. He, Barabbas goes free and Jesus is handed over to punishment. Now, think about it. What's the moral of that story? The bad guy goes free and the good guy gets punished. You kind of think, you know, at the end of the day, it's kind of, you know, you're reading a book with the kids. It's kind of like, well, the moral at the end of the day, kids, is sometimes the, you know, the bad guys get away with it. Right. But actually, this story goes to the heart of Christianity because we are meant to identify, see ourselves as Barabbas. See, lots of people think a big myth around Christianity is that Jesus came to teach us to be good, but he didn't. Yeah, it's not go be moral. It's come and come and be forgiven and freed because the reality is the reason we tell morals to each other or to our kids is we want them to meet standards which we know they're not meeting and we know we're not meeting I can't either. even keep the morals of the stories that I read to my kids. You know, we're identifying less with thoughtful sheep and way more with cranky, cranky bear. Yeah. All I really want is a quiet place to sleep. Yeah. And if I'm honest, as I read the story of Jesus, I do identify myself more and more with Barabbas, that I'm the one who needs to go free, who needs to be forgiven and I need Jesus to walk and take the punishment for me. So as we look to the events of Jesus' life, what's the moral of the story? It's not go be good, it's come. Come be forgiven, come know God, and let God's story, Jesus' story, change ours. <laughs>